Hello, my 3D printer peeps. Hello, Bamboo Lab printer owners. Hello, specifically, Bamboo Lab AMS owners. I'm sitting here next to a Bamboo Lab AMS, and today we are going to talk about filament care. As you know, keeping your filament dry and free of moisture absorption is very important to the quality and success of your printing projects. And storing one, two, three, or even four rolls of filament in your AMS is no different. When you have filament sitting in your AMS, you need to protect it from humidity and the absorption of moisture. Lucky for us, Bamboo Lab has included features to help us do just that. Today we are going to talk about how to maximize those features and how to install our own anti-humidity methods thanks to community projects in order to help keep our filament dry inside our AMS, in effect turning our AMS into its very own dry box. The first thing we are going to look at is the AMS itself. Open up the AMS, remove any filament rollers that may be installed, and that will reveal two compartments that you may not be aware of. One on each side of the AMS. These are desiccant compartments. Each has its own removable cover. Removing the cover on each side will reveal a desiccant pack that Bamboo Lab has included with your AMS. To use this desiccant pack, simply remove it from its plastic bag. Carefully unfold it as it may be glued together. And place it back in the AMS compartment, closing it back up with the same lid. Do this on both sides and you now have two moisture absorbing packets installed in your AMS. Conveniently, Bamboo Lab sells replacement moisture absorbing packages for these two compartments on their web store. Before getting into today's 3D printed upgrades, we are going to start with the simple solutions for the rear compartment. There are a multitude of options for desiccant packets. You can buy in large quantity to replace the original bamboo packages. I have two of them here with me today. The packages sold by bamboo are 17.5 gram. So I went ahead and looked for options that would fit the compartments the same as the original packages. I was hoping to find ones that were as big as possible while still fitting and allowing the cover to be closed. Here I have a well-reviewed package of desiccant from Dry and Dry. These are 20 gram packages. And here I have a higher end, more expensive option of desiccant packages from a company known as Dry Tote. I asked Dry Tote if they believed their desiccant packages would fit in the Bamboo AMS. They were unsure and to my surprise, they went ahead and same day delivered an entire bag of 100 gram dry tilt desiccant packs. The bad news is these packs do not fit in the AMS. The good news is that is some serious customer service and I will be making use of these larger packs for other projects, one of which we will see in a moment. To get started, we'll talk about a simple 20 gram desiccant pack. Not to be confused with rocket science, the idea behind these desiccant packs is simply to open up the compartment on the AMS and replace it with your new silica gel packages. The toughest part about this simple method is figuring out whether or not the package will fit. I have taken that problem out of the equation for you. This 20 gram package will indeed fit. All you need to do is drop it in and close the compartment. Close the lid and you are good to go. However, we are going to take it a few steps further. Starting with those rear compartments, we are going to replace the bamboo packages with refillable compartments that we can print on our own thanks to the genius of the 3D printer community. The first item we are going to print is this refillable desiccant holder compartment. This model comes with a two-part cover. I printed the top and bottom of the cover in two different colors. That way I can easily differentiate which one goes where. However, they are notched and they both only fit in their proper locations. 
to download this model, head over to printables and visit Ronald DeShane where you can go ahead and download the three parts required for this model. The link is in my description. Ronald also kindly provides a 3MF file. You can simply drag this file into Bamboo Studio and it automatically sets it up on three plates for you. Do note this was sliced for a Bamboo X1 Carbon. So simply go ahead and change your printer back to a Bamboo P1P. You can go ahead and press transfer and all of the settings from the 3MF will now be moved to your P1P profile. You will notice one of those changes being the 0.12 fine profile. Simply slice and print them as they are with no supports. Of course, you may print each individual part in the color of your choice or for those of you feeling brave, you could arrange these onto a single plate and print them all at once for a speedier process. In order to use this, we will start with the lower compartment on. This will allow us to fill it up without spillage. You can buy a container of desiccant beads or you can simply cut open one of your packages and put the beads in the container. Remember those large dry tote packages we talked about earlier? Well, we're about to make use of one. I am simply going to cut open the dry toe package and dump the silica beads into the container. I have spilled them all over my studio, but you are going to do this more carefully. You can see how installing the lower portion of this cover first allowed me to maximize the volume that this container can hold. After filling it, I will then place the upper cover on to keep it all in place. And there you have it, a container filled to the max with desiccant beads. You may think you can go ahead and do this without the cover. However, you'll be surprised how easily these beads tumble and fall out of the container and make a huge mess. With our fancy container filled with desiccant beads, we will open the two AMS desiccant compartments and we will simply drop our new container into the compartment. These compartments should fit in a manner that allows you to use the original cover. With two of these installed, you have drastically improved the humidity defense of your AMS unit. However, we are not done yet. Upon closer inspection of the AMS, you will notice three empty spaces. We are going to utilize those spaces to include even more desiccant. Not only are we going to include more desiccant, we are going to install a hydrometer so we can get an understanding of the humidity level inside our AMS. To do that, we are gonna print two of these each with their own covers, and one of these, the exact same model, modeled with a special hole to mount this round hydrometer. I will provide a link to this hydrometer in the comments and my description. For this part, we are going to go to printables and download the silica dry box for Bamboo Lab AMS from user Thomas underscore 63847. I will provide the link in the description he has four files. You are going to download three, dry pod version eight body, dry pod version eight top, and dry pod with hygrometer. Once you have those three parts downloaded, open up three plates and place each item on one plate. Center each one. We are then going to make a few changes for the dry pod with the hygrometer because this model has some overhangs that we are going to take care of. We are going to uncheck dry pod version 8 top and we are going to work only with plate number 1 on the dry pod itself. We are going to go ahead and turn supports on. We are going to use tree supports and we are going to use tree slim. Leaving the threshold at 30 will be sufficient. If you go ahead and slice this model you will see the tree supports having been added to the overhangs of this model. I was able to print this dry pod without a brim. However, this dry pod failed twice without a brim. So I'm going to go ahead and add a brim 
to just the two tripods. We are going to select both tripods. We're going to select outer brim only and go ahead and slice our plates. You will now see we have a beautiful brim on both of our tripods, but not the cover. Adding a brim to this cover made it difficult for the cover to install properly, despite the brim coming off rather cleanly. So go ahead and add that brim to both tripods, but not the cover itself. One thing I also did was head over to speed where I slowed everything down by about 20 millimeters. You may not need to do this. You may not wish to do this, but I felt a little more comfortable with it and I had a very successful print. Once you're all set, go ahead and print these three plates. To prepare these fancy desiccant holders for our AMS, we will first start with the one with the round hole by taking one of our hydrometers and slipping it into the hole. The model and the hydrometer are notched to fit together perfectly. All you need to do is line up the notches and press it in. Now simply take the desiccant of your choice. I'm going to use my dry tote bag and fill the container. When the container is full, take your 3D printed cover and slide it over the top. You may also use your lower cost packages of silica, such as dry and dry, or a simple container of silica beads. Each one of these holds roughly 100 grams of silica beads. You may find this to be overkill, so you can customize these in any way you feel fit by using all three filled with beads. Two, one, or all three, simply with less beads in each container. With your containers full, simply open up the AMS, take your container, and slide it into the empty space, placing the one with the hydrometer in the center. With all three in place, close the lid, and your AMS is now effectively a dry box. As I sit and watch the hydrometer, I can see the humidity level lowering. Those of you may question the accuracy of this hydrometer. However accurate the hydrometer may be, it will likely remain as accurate or inaccurate throughout its life. So you can learn to gauge it based on the number it's showing. As time goes on, you can see my humidity continuing to drop, now showing 29%. Now showing 28%. Okay, it's been about two hours and you can see the hydrometer in the AMS is reading 10% and the hydrometer outside the AMS is reading a whopping 60%. And there it is. We have effectively turned our bamboo AMS into its own dry box. This will drastically help protect your filament from humidity while stored and used in your AMS. It also looks pretty darn fancy. You are on the 3D Rundown YouTube channel. I'm Greg Adventure, your instructor at 3drundown.com and installing our own desiccant containers to protect our filament from moisture and humidity in the Bamboo Lab AMS was today's adventure.